Hey everybody, welcome back to Outward. Robert Rambles here, and thanks so much for joining me today. We are still in the city of Monsoon, and before we kick off, I want to preface this episode by apologizing for any background noise that happens today. My upstairs neighbors are having what I refer to as a banging party. And no, unfortunately, it's not anywhere near as exciting as it sounds. It's just a day when they choose to make, um banging noises all day long as if they're rearranging furniture and pounding up and down stairs and they do all this while wearing the heaviest boots imaginable and my poor 12 foot ceiling has no insulation so i do apologize in advance what i did here was i slept for three days because when we last left off this lady told us that soon she would have a task for us elinara and we could have went out and done a bunch of things here um but i am really keen on seeing the plot because I did not play this faction in my first playthrough, so I slept the three days, and I just want to see before we do anything else what she has for us. Could you help us? Blessings have a lot upon you. It's time for your first mission. Oh, before you go, however. Before you go, I need you to understand the lengths we go to to protect Arai from the Scourge. Have you ever seen one of the vigils before? Uh, those are the giant t crystal tower things, right? Yeah, we've seen one from a distance. The ones that protect us from the Scourge? We didn't know that. I don't think I ever knew that. That the Vigil Pylons protect us from the Scourge? I didn't know that. I could I mean, I could have missed it in the first playthrough. Here's what you need to know. That's pretty awesome. Yes, exactly. There's one not far from Monsoon. I want you to go there and burn a greasy fern at the altar atop the hill beside it. Then breathe it in, and then tell me what you see there. Only then will you be ready for your first mission. Well, I mean, that sounds like a mission on its own, so we have to go to the Vigil Pylon nearby, and we need a greasy fern uh, that we're going to burn, so we'll need to make a fire. Illat, watch over you. If you don't have any greasy fern with you, the alchemist should have some for sale. Yeah, that's what I figured. I did figure that. Uh, I don't think we have any greasy ferns. No, no, we definitely don't. And so we will find the alchemist real fast. Lane the alchemist. Okay, so we're just heading south. Yeah, I'm really interested to see how the game feels if you try to directly follow the story quest. Because when I played originally, I just spent a lot of time doing whatever the heck occurred to me, you know? Are you the yes you are? Is there something you need? Uh, we need some... Uh, Greasy ferns. Might you have some? He might, but where the hell would they be? Okay, here we go. He has two. They're 30. They're 30 silver. Okay. Well, we only want one of them. For sure. Okay, do we need to sell anything? No, I don't think we have anything to sell. Let's ditch these occult remains for now. Okay, so we've got our greasy fern. And we can head right out, I think. I think we have everything we need. It's pretty sad that uh, we're totally broke. But what are you going to do? Eventually, in my first playthrough, it got to a point where I had more gold, or more silver than I knew what to do with. It just, there wasn't anything worthwhile to spend it on. Um, I had a house in each city, which wasn't supposed to be able to happen, I don't think, but I... If you watch like the episodes that are in the high 70s and 80s, you'll see that I, I got, even after getting my faction house, after I completed the main storyline, I was able to get a house in Abrasar, as well as the house here in Monsoon. So I had all the houses, still had tons of, of money that I just didn't need. And I just kept finding cooler and cooler gear, and, and so I didn't need to spend any of it. Um, we'd gotten that 100 pound bag at the very beginning of the game. And so money is going to eventually become a, a, a moot point. So, oh, it's really close. If we're up here at Monsoon, it's literally just to the east of us. But we should probably keep our eyes peeled. Maybe we turn our lantern off. I, I don't, that's probably going to render pretty dark on YouTube, but that's why I, I do publish these in 1440 to help with that a little bit. I know it's annoying when everything is like one giant pixel and it's dark and you can't see shit.
We need to eat and drink. And unfortunately, in my absent-mindedness and not having been able to play outward for a while, I forgot to buy food, so... We will be looking for berries, my friends. Uh, and we're going to be wary of those humanoid figures I see way off in the foggy distance. What is this thing here? Ooh, marshmallow. Um, I'm hoping that we can eat this. It would probably be better cooked. Heavy marsh fruit that restores far more stamina than gabberies. These raw melons gain anti-poison properties when boiled. Ooh, that's good to know. Should we just eat this? I hope that doesn't F us up. Okay, good. Perfect, perfect. There's always stuff to eat in the wild. I need to get more into cooking. I've heard a couple of you guys say that like cooking is really, or food itself is really overpowered. And that maybe I wasted some silver by purchasing that skill that allowed us to not have to eat as much. But I, like food is something I didn't get into in the first uh, playthrough. So maybe now that I'm playing a little bit differently, I, I do need to get into some recipes and learn what food boosts, what we get from food. Okay, are we going for this? Because I don't... Unless we just book it. I don't see any other way. Let's get our boon on regardless so we're not taken by surprise. I need to start making traps. And we don't have any. We could try. I'm kind of worried. Damn. I needed to drop my bag, didn't I? Yeah, I definitely need to drop the bag. We could. Like, Outward is not a game you want to take a lot of time off from. <laughs> as far as, like, the combat and knowing what the, you're doing. Yeah, like, we're probably going to get beat here. Oh, he totes blocked the shit out of that. <laughs> Fuck, guys. I'm sorry. I'm so rusty. Oh look, we're all the way back in Monsoon. Is that is that it? That's not the worst thing that could happen. Oh geez, okay. As your eyes open, you find yourself propped up against the wall at the gates of Monsoon, safe. As you glance around for your savior, you see someone gleaming in gleaming white armor vanish into the crowd. We've had this before. Uh, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna get some rest. Oh look, they got our bag here for us. So sweet of them. Yeah, like, there's not a lot of ramifications to dying, except now we're bleeding and we are dizzy AF. Let's bandage. Okay. It's really hard to take two guys on at once without traps. Um, hmm. Maybe we gotta check out... Check out some crafting here. Like, can we make some basic traps? Or shit, even if we can get some shots in at a distance with a gun or a bow... We can make wooden spikes, and then we can put those into into traps. And I guess we should see if we have to like, if we're gonna if we're gonna buy these traps from a vendor. Traps are not something I experimented with. I went with runic magic in my first playthrough, and we, you get this awesome magic trap that is like really easy to lay down, and it's AOE, and it's amazing. Did I mention how amazing it was? And so I didn't Greetings, have to deal friend. with mechanical traps. Uh, do you have traps? You have a lot of shit we can't afford. But you don't have any traps. So there's that. Damn, Palladium Shield. Like, we're doing this two-hander thing, getting our asses kicked, and I'm thinking, like, should I have a shield? I don't want a shield. I don't want a shield. Okay. We need to find some other merchants. Merchants Promenade? That sounds, that sounds promising. Um, we want spikes. Who the hell would just have, like, some spikes? Or some traps, rather. How Shop, can I help shopkeeper you? Lydia. Lydia. Um, well, she has a better bag than what we have. Capacity 100. God, we need this so badly. I mean, maybe I can't, maybe I can't buy traps. Maybe I have to find them. I'm, like, really jealous of this bag and we need it. Uh, can't afford it, though. Okay. Alright, it's fine. Let's see. What do we need to do here? We're gonna have to sleep. 
obviously. And then we're gonna have to eat. I kinda want these bandages. What we really need is like two teas, um, two of each maybe. We keep running into instances where these would be useful to us and we don't have them. So I feel like, I feel like that's worth it. Let's lay our, our, our little sleeping roll down right here and awkwardly be homeless. Oh, I have to, I have to press again to use it. Yes, please, please. I couldn't tell he was hunching down. I couldn't even tell if he was, she, if she was using it or not. Um, okay, we need like a few hours here. It's gonna get us into the nighttime. Maybe we can stealth past these guys, you know? Is this even gonna heal us up? Yeah. It's okay. We got a little bit of burned stamina, which which sucks. We could drink one of those teas to get rid of that burned stamina, but I think we're just gonna chill with it for now. Ooh, this place looks very pretty at night. I love it. I love how distinct each of the cities look in, in architecture and in layout. They remind me of cities you'd go to in like old JRPGs on like the original PlayStation and SNES. I don't know why that just occurred to me, but it did. Uh, let's, well, yeah, we want to get out of here. We're going to try this again. We are going to get to this vigil pylon. Let's just uh, gather some water. Let's take a drink to get our stamina boost passive up. We don't have any healing potions, but we also don't have any money. So, you know, we're going to have to solve the money problem first. You, wait a moment. You there. Keep your eyes open in the marsh. Some missionaries are days late from a journey from Harmaton. Where the f is Harmaton? Have you guys, is there a new city that they introduced? In the patch, do you guys know? Because I looked at the patch notes and I didn't see it, but we saw it once on a map on a loading screen. Harmaton. If you have any information, please speak with Mofat in the residential area. The man with the straw hat. So some missionaries are days late from a journey from Harmaton. So if we knew what direction that was, I bet we could go check that out. Can I help you? Can I find merchants and trainers? Tell me about the region. Who's? I was kind of hoping he would have more. Stay safe. To tell us about what he just said, but apparently not. Okay, that's really cool. Like I like that. Um, I like it more if we can find. If we can find it. And if it doesn't beat our ass when we get there. Which the way we're going, well, we're gonna go for total stealthy silence here, but we're also going to get our boon on. Alright, let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Maybe we crouch. Let's wait here and see what they do. I'm thinking we might be able to just avoid them. All we need to do is get in there and burn the f burn the fern. We have these this these things swirling around us because of our because of our focus boon. I'm like wondering if they're gonna be able to see that or if that's just for us. But I'm kind of worried they're gonna be able to see it. We gotta get to that ramp, basically, right? Shit. It feels like he sees us. But maybe not. Guys, we might be able to do this, like, stealth style, which is something we've never achieved before. Okay. Shit, though, I wonder what's waiting for us up here, you know? Like, we're avoiding these guys, but what are we walking right into? 
Oh shit! Okay. Now we book it. I bet we can like get them to knock themselves off up here. But let's see if there's anything up here to begin with. Like maybe they'll like fight something else for us. Shit, maybe they won't follow us at all, who knows. Okay, we just need all that stuff. Oh, they're up here, but... They're up here, but they've kind of lost interest. I'm not sure, like, where we're supposed to burn the fern. Could we do it here? I don't even have any wood. It would have been really, really smart... ...to grab some wood down there, right? Right? Okay, well, we know we can, like, drop aggro on them... ...fast enough. What we might want to do is drink a bitter spice tea. Concoction instantly cures infections, protects against cold, and restores burnt stamina. Let's do that. We need all the stamina we can get. Stamina is basically the most important stat. These assholes. Oh, don't mind us. We're just sparkling like Tinkerbell. They're like, yeah. You're not fooling us. I mean, we're kind of fooling them. We're gonna do some Mission Impossible shit and we're gonna drop down to the staircase and see if that murders us. Here we go, guys. Oh, I'll take it. I'll take it because we can bandage and those guys are just gonna be looking around up there. Um, so we're gonna go get some wood. Yeah, exciting. Uh, but it needs to be done. We know they're up there, so we can just run. Let's go to this tree down here. Um, you're not a tree, so... Oh, shit, shit, shit. Are you a tree? No, you're not a fucking tree either. There's very little chance they don't see us. You are hungry. Not a good time. Is this gonna make noise? Let's just grab a bunch of wood so like we can try in a few different spots. We know we're not gonna get it right the first time. And I think we have inventory space. Yeah, we're good. Uh, let's just grab more. Okay, let's get out of here. Not liking how close they are. They seem to have some kind of awareness that there is something afoot. I do want to check around here to see if maybe there's any treasure chests. Anything hiding. So this might be a dark, slow episode, and I do apologize for that. Do yourself a favor, please watch on a device that can render in 1440. Because otherwise I know it's just going to be all pixelated and no one enjoys that. I'm like OCD about that for some reason. Okay, I don't think there's anything else down here. Let's, uh... And I don't see any other ramp that leads up. So this is our option. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't like it when they whip out their weapons and look at us. Oh, shit. Oh, he's searching where we just were. And his buddy went off in the other direction. Are you serious about this? Guys, we need like a major distraction to happen. That's the only thing that's going to avoid us having to book it. Let's book it. Let's lead them out here. If we may. Oh shit, this is going to dead end, isn't it? Let's just try to fucking lead them away, I guess. And so that we can get back. Unless they just despawn and run all the way back to their starting point. Oh, let's run them by this fucking thing. Are they still coming? Oh, come on, boys. Come on, I'm right here. 
All right, here we go. Incoming. Woot, 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 woot. I would love to see this thing, like, attack them. That's kind of like my whole thing right now. They don't seem to be interested. Let's drop this bag. It's like really slowing us down. Oh good, he, it got one of them. <laughs> this is like basically our only hope. That they just F each other up. But I'm totally okay with that. We just need to watch our stamina. Like we, we can't get low on stamina. I wish we could pull like them into this. There they go. Did another one join? Is are any of them on us? Fuck no, they're not. Oh, they killed him. Well, shit, boys. Let's go hide over here, shall we? <laughs> Oh god, and we dropped our bag out there and stuff. That was that was interesting. One of the funnest parts of Outward. They're like, we found a bag. I'm like, I don't even know if I can take one of you. Should we just try to take this guy? Like, I guess we should. See what he can do, you know? We're hungry, that's no good. Oh, it's one of the, he's got like a pole arm. I hate the fuckers who have pole arms. Oh, we took some health, oh good. Damn. We're, we have zero luck with combat. I'm gonna have to figure out a build that's actually gonna work for us, you know? Maybe I'm gonna have to go magic. I don't know. I suck at melee in this game and it's like really sad because I want to be good at it, but I'm just not. Uh, hmm. Hmm, 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 I don't have any options right now anyway. We, we, we couldn't change um, what we were doing even if we wanted to because we don't we don't have money you need money for everything so even if we wanted to pick up like a different weapon or some different skills uh, we would have to be able to afford that and we can't because we're broke all right uh, let's sleep again and just kind of like wallow in our own self-loathing if that's a thing that people can do All right, how many hours? A lot, we're gonna be starving to death by the time we wake up, so. Middle of the day, they'll be able to see us playing as shit. Sounds great. Sounds great. What can we do? We really just need traps, you know? We could have got that guy alone, I'm confident, but then the dude with the shield showed up and uh, busted up the party pretty substantially. Uh, do we have foods and drinks? Not particularly, we got, we got drinks. We've got one dry mushroom bar that's just going to have to suffice for now, but probably won't. Yeah, we're like, oh, that wasn't enough. Can we eat something else, please? And I'm like, no, you can't. Can't have anything else, because you're not performing admirably. No, but we'll go get something. We'll go to the merchants, and we will get some food. Because some doors go to the merchants' promenade, others don't. Don't let your eyes deceive you. Um, you have food. Can I help you? Yeah. Okay, let's take a look see. Increases resistance to elemental damage. Mana restoring properties, don't need that. I don't know if there's anything for us. Instantly cures infections. Okay, well, we'll just buy some bread. For the time being, until we learn how to cook better stuff. 
At least we won't be hungry. There we go. All right, take three. <laughs> Can we get the 13 feet to the vigil pylon to burn a greasy fern? We'll find out sometime in the next two hours. Stay tuned. Or you could like fast forward a little bit past all the failing. That's, that's what I would probably do. And I won't be offended by that. I mean, he heck, to be honest, let's, I mean, let's face it, I won't even know. I like that sometimes if you pay attention when you load in, you can literally see the mobs drop out of the sky. It's pretty disconcerting. It's like seeing a part of a reality that you're not supposed to be able to acknowledge. Like, can you imagine walking out your front door and seeing, like, your car fall the last two feet to the ground? Like, it just spawned? Like, come on. I wonder if we can, like, just, I, well, I wonder where these guys are at now that a couple of them are dead, right? Okay, we might be okay to get in here now. Because, I mean, our little ploy with the monster sort of worked. It, it, oh, shit. And they're like, it sort of worked, but there's only one dead and two there. I'll, I'll probably just book it up here. You know what I mean? Like, fuck them. Let them run up all these stairs. They didn't train like Rocky. Come on, they're not gonna get up here. I don't even think they aggroed us, to be honest. Like, I just am... I guess this would be the top, right? Let's keep an eye on our behind while we do this, just in case they did aggro us. Uh, we need to make a fire. A fire. Here we go. Oh, we needed three. It's, it's good that we grabbed a bunch. Okay, um... And then we'll lay that down. And then we'll put a grassy fern in it. After we light it with our flint and tinder. Alright, let's, let's use the campfire. Oh, come on. What? Why? Ma oh, okay. Manual recipe. What? I don't get it. <laughs> um, yeah, to say I don't get it is an understatement. I thought we could just put it on there. Well, that sure as hell didn't do it. Does it need to go in a cook pot? Huh. Burn greasy fern at the altar on the hill. Oh, okay. Robert, you gotta learn how to read. Altar on the hill west of here. You guys knew that, right? So west. Uh, no, we're not gonna attempt fate there. What What is the altar, though? What is that? Oh, shit. Okay, is that the altar? That looks altar-esque. Let's get our stamina back before we have to run from a bunch of guys. I see an opening that I don't trust. I don't trust that to be free of jerks bent on killing us. But look, we can see inside. Um, I don't I don't see anything harmful, but I don't see anything to pick up either. So we're gonna not go in. Is this even it? Is, hmm. I don't know. Just west of the Marsh's Vigil. So, yeah, I mean, that's where we are. That's the Vigil. 
We're staring at it. We're looking east, so we're west of it. Okay. But is this not the hill? Probably not. It's some kind of structure. But if we head... I mean, heading west is just going to take us back into Monsoon. Right? Wrong? Now I have no idea where we're going. Um, obviously, um, we're pro we have approached the old windmill, so what the hell, let's investigate. You can see how good I am at navigating in outward. Okay, who are you? Oh, you are just a bunch of glowy things uh, that are gonna follow us around and give us some free light, I'll take it. Probably make us more visible to bad guys. This looks like somebody's little personal hangout. They had a cool greenhouse of some kind. See if we can... Oh yeah, we can. Well, at least we didn't come here for nothing. I am going to probably loot, like, all of this stuff. We're going to have to get a cooking pot, but they're so heavy, I don't want to grab one until we have a better bag. We are hungry. Well, we can solve that problem. Let me tell you. We just picked up a lot of edibles. Not the super exciting kind of edibles, just the regular kind. Alright, I guess we can do a circuit around the back to be safe, and then we'll go inside of this place if we can access it. Uh, we can't get in through the back door, unfortunately. Well, that's no fun. Every time the music kicks up, I get worried we aggroed something, but it's not the battle music. Okay, let's go in. Somebody has literally laid out the red carpet for us, so... Abandoned Shed. What do we got? Well, we, we have much to the description. Seemingly... Oh, shit. No, that's one of those, um, shit, somebody told me what the name of it was. We saw one before we were locked in a cage after we let it out. It's a monster from, like, actual lore, and I just keep forgetting what its name is. It eats human flesh in the lore. But yeah, the, the fact of the matter is, I don't think we're fighting that. However, could we... Aggro it up the stairs, jump off, try to loot shit down there, and survive? I'm gonna certainly try. Swing at me, B. There we go. Oh, shit! That was not pretty, and I don't think we got everything because I'm bad at hitting take all. Whew! We lived! We got a couple things. Um, let's heal up. What is the take all? The take all, I have to actually click the damn thing, I think. I hit T, and I don't think that took all. Uh, let us just go ahead really fast. Be smart. Sleep before we, like, bleed out or something. I wonder if these lights do anything to protect us while we are resting. Do they lower the percentage for us to be ambushed? No, doesn't seem like it. Uh, let's... Oh god, no, I'm, click I'm clicking here. Let's back that off. Okay, let's do three and just hope that that gets us back to full health. Hey, it did. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Not the beast stalking in the distance, but just like the sunset. Would this be the sunset? This would probably be the sunrise. If I had been paying attention to the time scale when we slept. 
Uh, very pretty nonetheless. Okay, um, let's check out what we got. I didn't really see anything. I mean, I have this broad dagger. That seems new. I wish it would kind of highlight... Well, does it? I don't think so. I don't even know what we got, guys. Except maybe we got this broad dagger. This offhand weapon requires dagger skills to be used. Okay. Alright. Well... Um, I don't really want to fight that. That's like my motto for Outward. Quote from Robert Rambles. I don't really want to fight that. Like, what do you want to do? Well, not die, preferably. Yeah, you just go along living your dinosaur life. Dude, don't make me get killed to eat by you and teleport back to Monsoon. That'd be annoying for everybody. Here we go. Shit, I thought I blocked that. <laughs> oh, it's just it's just hilarious. We're probably not really even supposed to be in this area with the gear that we have, to be honest. It's pretty clear that I'm gonna have to do some backtracking and to share some these and do just some of like the relatively easier stuff. You find as your eyes open, you find yourself propped up against the wall at the gates of Monsoon, safe. Yep, the gleaming armor guy saves us like every time. I don't even know who this guy is, but he's like clearly our hero. Um, if not for him, we would just have some kind of normal respawn where we'd go back to the last checkpoint or something. I don't know. I mean, uh, these are ideas. These are just ideas. Um, and so my question is, are we ever going to be able to burn this fern at the altar to the west of the pylon? I mean, we haven't even found the damn thing. Here we go. Let's rest again. It's just raining now, you know. It's totally, totally fine. It's gonna be sunset, it's gonna be dusk when we embark upon our self-destructive journey once again into the jaws of hell, otherwise known as outside of Monsoon, 10 feet away from the city. We're thirsty, that's no problem. Okay, um, well, we're going to try this one more time today, and then we're going to get the out of here, do something that's like, that we're capable of not getting slashed apart by these dinosaurs, um, because apparently they're very powerful, which, you know, makes sense because they're dinosaurs. I'm not going to fight a dinosaur with a goddamn axe, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm physically fit, but it, it just isn't happening. It's not happening. Um, there's no way. And so I don't know why, like, this guy, why we would want him to try to do it. Need, like, a full suit of plate armor and, like... Yeah, maybe, like, somebody told me they were using guns. Maybe you need, like, eight guns to blast that SOB from far away. That might be cool. Like, I don't know how good guns get as far as, like, scaling with later content, but... At this point, I'm willing to try anything. Um... I don't know. I mean, we haven't used any breakthrough points yet. I thought maybe I wanted to go this melee build, but it's not working out in a lot of situations when we have multiple enemies. Uh, but we'll see. Okay, so we need to be heading west of this. This is the strange thing. So this is the pylon. There's a hill to the west. Maybe it's just this hill right up here where these stones seem to be like leading us around. Like some kind of trail, almost, that one might follow. Hmm. I wonder. Yeah, this seems altar-ish to me. There's even this. Oh! <laughs> well, that was a little scary, actually, seeing her here. Olie, my creepy friend. How are you? And we have a safe place to uh, sleep up here. I have never seen butterflies um, in the Hallowed Marsh. Only in Cherisonis, so that's really cool. Alright, we did finally found it, guys. Good finally to found see it. you. Oh, hi. I guess it's only natural they'd send you here, too. Well, what are you doing here? I just... 
wanted to come back here before leaving for my first mission. Hmm. Elenara told you to burn the greasy fern here too, didn't she? Tell me what you see. Okay, tell her... Oh, look at that view. Amazing. Okay, we're gonna do this. Burn at Greasy Ferny Altar. What are we gonna see, guys? As you breathe in the aroma of the greasy fern, the memories of the buried ancestors floods your mind with vicious images. You see an army of warriors fighting a massive scourge beast with spears. They are nearly wiped out. Before one of them manages to cripple the beast, a ray of light falls from the sky and engulfs the monster, and it is trapped within shining crystal, surrounded by the dozens of people it killed. As the memories fade and you return to your senses, you look up at the vigil crystal and briefly see a swarm of ghosts trapped within the crystal with the scourge beast, endlessly stabbing it with their ghostly weapons. You sense agony rippling from the crystal. The scourge beast within it is still alive, endlessly tortured by the spirits of those it killed. The monster's pain, a warning to keep other scourge beasts far, far away from Monsoon. Did you see it? Those poor, Those poor spirits. spirits. Oh, go ahead. They'll never rest in peace. Yeah, that's, uh, that's horrifying. Um, actually, so it's just in there. It's... There's a giant scourge beast trapped in the crystal with all the ghosts of the people who were fighting it and they are just like torturing it endlessly and that pain radiates through some kind of shared consciousness that the scourge have and so they stay away from Monsoon but wouldn't that then drive them to other areas of the world? I knew Elat wasn't the final answer to our existence but seeing this... What is Elat? How can he allow this? What did I choose to become part of? Well, what did we choose to become part of? I mean, the one guy tried to warn us that Elad is not a god, and we kind of got that sense. I mean, he kind of admitted it in a way when we talked to him, but hes he kind of said, like, well, he's the best thing we have. Uh, let's see, so she's having doubts about the holy mission. Aren't you? After seeing this? Those spirits are trapped in that crystal forever. Their only purpose for all eternity is to torture that scourge beast. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's effective, right? It obviously works. I feel like I'm worried about the repercussions it has also on the rest of the world. And as well as, yeah, like, those people are trapped in there. Are they still conscious? Like, that'd be awful. I'm having doubts too, guys. So it's not just me. I know a lot isn't the answer to everything, but when I pledged myself to him, I believed he truly wanted nothing more than to protect others. Now I'm not so sure. Oh, uh, let's see. I mean, this does protect us, though. It keeps the Scourge Beast away from us. that That's the only really true thing. I don't think we can really trust in a lot. He has an agenda, and right now it's aligned with our survival. At what price? There must be a better way. Totally agreed. Um, maybe we'll get to find out. Hmm. Either way, the fact remains that we need to destroy the Scourge once and for all. These poor spirits deserve to finally rest in peace. Always strive to be better than today. I'm off. Elinara gave me a task to perform and I intend to see that it's carried out. I'll be seeing you. Alright, um, so after all that, uh, I guess now we would go back to Monsoon and get our first quest. Um, you know, lots of, lots of questions. Obviously. What is up here? And is there a ladder that leads down or a staircase? Probably not. No, just a, a path we can jump down onto. Well, that'd be a, probably be okay. Ooh, okay, that was wasn't too bad. Alright, so we learned we learned quite a bit. So in all these pylons, in each of them, which there's one in every zone as far as I'm aware, um, is a giant scourge beast that was captured in a war, and Elat trapped... Ooh, that was quite a fall. And Elat trapped the scourge beast in the crystal along with the warring spirits of those who died fighting it or were fighting it at the time. 
And now those spirits are trapped forever, but it keeps it keeps the scourge away from these lands. From I guess from all all the lands, because there's one in each. So then that begs the question for me, like, is there more to this planet? Where do the Scourge go then, right? If they can't go to Saracenese, Emmacar, Haloed Marsh, or Abrasar Desert, where do they go? And are we ever going to find that out? I'm not sure. But I'd like to. I'm excited to try to piece things together. Uh, I think this is going to be a place where we take a break. Next time, we will get our next quest from Elenara and see where she sends us. I'm also really up to any suggestions you guys might have on some builds. Some of you guys have already given me some cool ideas. Uh, when I think about what I want to do, like I really don't want to use magic this time because I used magic uh, in my last one. So maybe if there's some kind of... Yeah, I'd be down for like an archer rogue build... Um, something that has some ranged capabilities to it. Um, so yeah, just toss me whatever you got. I'm going to do some thinking on this before I play again. And I'm just grateful that I didn't have the money to spend any of our breakthrough points yet. So all is not lost. We will find something awesome to do here. And our next uh, mission will be for Eladara. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And thank you for being here. I, I truly appreciate the support. It does mean a lot to me. And we'll see you again real soon. Take care and wish me luck.